President Trump held a rally last night in Wisconsin, a crucial state he won in 2016 by fewer than 23,000 votes. In the two and a half years since election night, America's dairy land has been in free fall. Last year, dairy farms in Wisconsin closed at a rate of nearly two a day. And it's not just Wisconsin. So what's behind a crisis in American farming that began well before this administration? Harry Smith travels to Iowa for our Sunday Spotlight. Late March, but it was still not springtime when we were in Iowa a few weeks back. A stone-cold winter and six years of rock-bottom prices had farmers like John Snyder feeling his way of life was like his old pickup in need of a jump. How's the farm business? Iffy. Iffy. You never know what's going to happen. Corn and soybeans, you know, the price of seed, fertilizer, all that stuff just keeps going up. Hundreds of farmers from bordering states gathered in the nearby Storm Lake High School gym for a rally that weekend. <laughs> Nearly a fifth of U.S. farmers are operating at a deficit. Loan defaults are climbing, and farm income is half of what it was in 2013. This year's flooding added another few billion dollars in misery. Wisconsin dairy farmer Patty Edelberg says folks like her are earning about 14 cents of every dollar the rest of us spend on food. How does that pencil out at the farm, as they say? It doesn't, especially for a dairy farm right now. We are losing money every day. And while farm subsidies bring in billions a year, folks at the rally say Washington is not a friend, but a foe. Anna Hankins grows vegetables and raises livestock. Young farmers who are trying to make this work, we need like real policy change. When do you need the change? We needed it 60 years ago. The bucolic image of Grant Wood's American Gothic is a quaint and ancient picture of rural life. Farms keep getting bigger and towns are dying. Rural America is dying on the vine. Two thirds of Iowa's 99 counties are losing population every year and now our major retail centers are starting to implode or erode. Art Cullen is the Pulitzer Prize winning editor of the Storm Lake Times. This is a discussion that America needs to have. What about these rural byways? Are they even relevant anymore to the national discussion? And I think they are because this is where we produce the nation's food. Cullen called for Democratic candidates to come to his town to talk policy. Five showed up, which is remarkable considering the caucus won't happen until next February. The Democrats, I believe, lost the 2016 election because they ignored flyover country. They got their hat handed to them in rural America. Seems they are not ignoring it this go-round. But farmers like John Snyder wonder. Washington feel like it's pretty far away from here? Oh yeah, long ways away. Do they really care about us? I don't know. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, Storm Lake, Iowa.